Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're continuing on with the player health and we're actually going to get the scripting in place to handle the animations. Now, we will be creating our own animations in a later lesson, but let's get the scripting in place for now. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to create two public of type animation clip and let's call the first one underscore player death animation we'll close the line off as always straight into the comments so create slot in inspector to assign player death animation and we'll just copy this line, we'll paste it in below, and we'll just swap out the naming convention. So this one we'll change it to player hit animation, and we'll change the comment, and then we'll come down to the void start function. Now I'll just come below here. And we want to make sure that both of these animation clips are set to wrap once. So we'll put it into code. So we'll get component, open and close brackets. It's going to be of type animation again. We'll open and close brackets and we'll open square brackets. And we'll say player def animation dot name. We'll close square brackets dot and we want wrap mode with the small w and we'll say equals and then we want wrap mode with the capital w dot once and we'll close the line off and we'll put it into the comments so we'll say set def animation to play once and we'll just copy this line and I'm sure you've guessed what we're going to do we're just going to paste it in and we're just going to change the naming convention here to player we want the player hit animation and I'll just bring the comments into line and we'll change the comment here and we'll just save that there for the moment so we have two slots to assign our animation we're saying set both of those animations to wrap once and now we'll handle actually playing the animation so first one will come to the player dying block and right at the top here we'll say get component again of type animation we'll open and close brackets again we'll say dot and we want to cross fade open and close brackets we'll close the line off and well, what we want to crossfade in is the player death animation dot name and we'll put it into the comments we'll say crossfade in death animation and I went over how crossfade works when we did the enemy AI so if you don't completely understand, please go back and re-watch those videos. Um, I explain it more in depth. So, now we're cross-fading in the player death animation. So, that animation begins to play in the dying block. We play the audio and then we set the player health state to this block. But before we load the scene, which is... Uh, if we come here 
we're loading back to scene the main menu. We want to wait until this animation has finished playing before we start this core routine which will return us to the main menu. So in here we'll say if open brackets get component open and close brackets animation open and close brackets again dot and we want the is playing with the capital I we'll open and close brackets we'll close brackets again and we'll close there so if and we'll come inside the brackets here we'll underscore player death animation and we'll put it into the comments so we'll say if the death animation is playing we'll return then we'll close the line off into the comments we'll say then do nothing and return and we'll come to the next line and I'm not actually going to put any code in I'm just going to come straight to the comments line and then we'll say else if animation is not playing then and we'll leave it there so if we read through we see if the player death animation is playing if the death animation is playing then we do nothing and return else if the animation is is not playing which means the animation is finished the death animation is finished we start this core routine that will then wait five seconds and then we'll load back to main menu and we'll come to the apply damage to player function and I'll just come up the top here and this one's fairly easy we just copy this line from the player dying we'll paste that in there I'll get rid of the empty line and then we just need to swap out the variable so in this case it will be player hit animation and we just change the comment and we'll save that off there and that's it we're done for this lesson as I said we will create our own custom animations for both of these in a later lesson but we'll leave it there for now we have all the code in place so I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then bye for now